All right. So welcome back, everybody. Apologies for the six month break. Um, we'll try to be more consistent with videos moving forward. So this uh, particular question came as a request. Somebody who emailed me. Um, I didn't know exactly where they got the source, if they maybe took it from a leaked official test or something like that. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that uh, I changed around the numbers a little bit so that uh, I didn't hit any copyright issues. So that being said, though, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So the expression of the square root of 1091 plus 66 root 2 is equivalent to the expression q plus r to the 1 half, where q and r are positive integer constants. What is the value of q plus r? So uh, immediately I'm going to recognize that this q plus r to the 1 half, this is very similar already to the 1091 plus 66 uh, root 2. So the way that we could think about this is if we said q plus r to the 1 half, that's the same as q plus uh, root r, right? And this is going to be equal then to the square root of 1091 plus 66 times root 2. And so what I want to do from here then is I'm going to try to square both sides and see what happens. So if we square both sides to get rid of this radical here, then we're going to get uh, q plus root r times itself. And then uh, this is going to be q squared um, plus q root r plus q root r and then plus r then. And then uh, from there, that's going to equal just 1091 plus 66 root 2. So what I can do from here is just kind of combine these. And I'm going to combine it, though, in a way that I kind of keep the radicals all the way on the right. And I keep the whole, um, like, the the rational numbers all on the left. So I'm going to do this q, q squared plus r, I'm going to say, is on the left side. And then that's going to be q plus root r plus q plus root r. So that's 2q root r there. And then that's going to equal 1091 plus 66 root 2. So I can already see here that I kind of have a bit of a match or a bit of a mirror going on. And so most likely I could say something like q squared plus r is going to equal 1091. And then I can also say that 2q root r is going to equal 66 root 2. And this immediately makes me suspect then that r is going to equal 2 and that q is going to equal 33. So I just want to go ahead and test out to see if that would actually work. So if I had 33 squared plus 2, would that equal 1091, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at that on Desmos. So let's see. 33 squared plus 2 is 1091. So that checks out. And so then we already know that um, we already know that the 2q root r equals 66 root 2. We already know then that, that that's going to work, that q is equal to 33 and that r is equal to 2. And so what is the value of q plus r? That is going to be 35 as the correct answer. If you found this helpful and you want to see more advanced SAT math content like this, uh, I have a playlist that uh, should be popping up here on the screen shortly that you can click on to kind of test how good or how uh, proficient would you be at really advanced SAT math questions, very difficult ones that often come up on the official test but aren't always on the blue book. So make sure to check those out, and I'll see you in the next videos. Hope you have a great day.